Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis, which I believe is going to be one of the most eye-opening videos you have ever seen inside of the cryptocurrency market. We are going to be sharing some absolute gems and secrets inside of this video as to how and why the market moves time and time and time again. The same patterns, the same trades and the same people making money I'm going to be sharing some of that in this video today. So I hope that you really enjoy full focus on me. You're going to thank yourself as we go into the Bitcoin chart. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to absolutely love the video. And let's begin. Bitcoin, 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 ladies and gentlemen, let's begin by just reminding ourselves how we come across to this point, the power of having this brilliant trading plan. It all starts off with, well, it all started off with yesterday of recognizing the pattern that will be forming before it even formed. If you remember from yesterday's video, we were talking about obviously the head and shoulders, the inverse head and shoulders pattern that we were likely going to be forming. Well, in the end, it did form. That was our inverse head and shoulders. And we also knew the region where we wanted to short for that, which was obviously our weekly region of resistance. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to offer you great value in this video by, by explaining a few steps here. How are we able to recognize these patterns? How are we able to recognize why we want to long, why we want to short, and where we want to long and short? Well, as we can see here, if we zoom in a little bit, we obviously, in the end, exactly as predicted we've put in put in our left shoulder we put in our head and we put in our right shoulder in the end we get the breakout and we break out to our swing failure pattern which is obviously onto our weekly resistance uh onto that weekly resistance region onto your swing failure pattern of the highs so you can start to see how you're forming several confluences and the time it happened right on time right on time exactly at 12 p.m you know you couldn't make it up how how these times play out time and time again but you know, you can start to see here, why was this such an important factor? Ladies and gentlemen, how are we able to do these trades? How are we able to recognize the market? As I was saying, I'm sharing some secrets here because your market makers, this is why the pat patterns are really a meme because your market, ma market makers are able to print these patterns. They're able to form the head and shoulders before they're even forming, before anybody has any idea of what's going on, you know, they can print a head and shoulders. They can print a ascending triangle. They can print uh, a cup and handle pattern. Why? Because they know 99% of the world can recognize this and they're going to go absolutely crazy for it. They're going to be longing these things. And if they want to fill big positions, hey, that's that's what you need. To, to fill a lot of shorts, you need a lot of longs. So if you wanted to form a really big short position up here, guess what you need? You need a lot of longs. How was this happening last night? Well, you had two factors. You had the people longing for an ascending, uh, sorry, a symmetrical triangle. Okay, you had the symmetrical triangle. And then you also, of course, had the inverse head and shoulders. Okay, oops, didn't try and click that. Obviously, you had that inverse head and shoulders breakout. You also then come up above the highs, which is just ultimate, <laughs> ultimate. Uh, you also then form a swing failure pattern of the high. So everybody trading the symmetrical triangle, the inverse head and shoulders, the breakout of the highs, they're all longing. So what do you need? If you want to form a big short, you need all these longs because trading is a zero sum game, zero sum game. There are always winners and there's always losers. For every buyer, there has to be a seller. OK, it's as simple as that. So we need these people because, they're, they're, you know, to, to win, we have to have other people losing. It's as simple as that. Trading is a competition and I'm not here to be friends with anyone. I'm not here to be friends with anyone. I'm here to trade I'm here, and I'm here to make money. And that is exactly what we are doing in the champions group, because ladies and gentlemen, what do we form here before? It, you know, let me put in a 30, a quick 30 second clip from yesterday's video. I will attach that now and I will be back in 30 seconds after I remind you what we were talking about in yesterday's video. Let's go. The bottoming pattern that we're putting in here. And I and I suppose what, what's going to happen, uh, you know, you can already kind of predict it. What, what probably a lot of people are going to be saying if we start to move up higher, they're going to be looking at this. I would have thought, oh, look at this. We might get a head and shoulders pattern. Um, hey, <laughs> you can kind of predict these things before they even happen. But actually a bit of a range. And I really do think that if we do come up here and we get the rejection, I think everybody's going to be talking about head and shoulders. I, I can already foresee that. This is the thing. Thousands of different patterns, thousands of different potentials. I think you only want to focus on the highest probabilities. Who cares about all these random patterns? I, I can personally say I would not be, even if it forms like I'm not going to be trading for the head and shoulders. I'll tell you that for nothing. But anyway, 
I'm sure some people will. So in that clip, you saw me talking about the inverse head and shoulders while we were literally still here on the chart before anybody had even recognized what was going to be happening. We were recognizing the pattern that was going to be forming on this chart. And you can start to see the power of this because that offers you three trades. It offers you knowing to short. It offers you knowing to long for the right shoulder. And it offers you, well, if you, if you traded like us, it offers you the third short up at the highs. So you're given three trades, a short, a long, and a short. Okay. So that's, you know, you can start to see how much value there is in me, give, me giving you the levels, me giving you, you know, you cannot say I didn't give you the heads up. I gave you the heads up yesterday of the pattern that we would form. I also gave you the heads up of the weekly resistance that I'm going to short. Um, so I definitely gave the warning on this. And this is why you got to pay attention to my videos. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, so th th this really then brings us up to really important resistance and really important support. And I'm telling you, this is absolutely crucial crucial important levels i will you know i just can't under you know i just want to say it's so important the levels that i give you i give you these levels in the videos and you need to make notes because they are absolutely dictating the highs and lows of the markets almost to the dollar time and time and time again every video that we're doing our levels are absolutely pivotal and I'm going to give you them again. Ladies and gentlemen, the swing failure pattern of the high that we put in last night, 57,188 on Bybit. Obviously, I trade Bybit. That's my primary exchange. We put in the swing failure pattern. That's our current resistance. But we know that we have this region of the weekly. That really brings us up to around $57,800. So we have this weekly region of resistance. So write it down, 57,800. Currently, up to this, we have our weekly region of resistance. Absolutely pivotal really important i cannot you know cannot stress that enough people but i want to remind you of one thing the more we test our resistance the weaker that gets because traders like myself are not so inclined to short that if we test this again i'm going to be careful on my shorts the first time we test this this is a short all day long for me that's a short all day long then if we test this again i'm going to be hesitating because i'm recognizing this is the third time of testing this level with a higher low put in i don't really think that this is as appealing the first time we test it you know third time fourth time i'm, I'm not going to even be thinking about a shorter fourth time so um yeah that's really important to remember this is still our resistance region but if we test this again after putting in the higher low yeah i feel that there's a higher probability that we're breaking to the upside so eg i'm going to be very cautious on the short and even looking for long positions so bear that in mind but nevertheless that's still our important resistance region at the moment uh, but I will just stress one more time. If we test this again, I'm going to be less interested in shorts. Um, and in terms of important support, ladies and gentlemen, I will give you this one, $55,200. $55,200 to $55,400. The short position, which I'll show you a little bit later, that I literally took at the absolute, absolute, absolute high of this one. I have hit my take profit at the absolute low of the move. I will show you this in a minute. But um, yeah. All I'm saying is it's pretty funny that I took my short here, we come down, took my take profit here, and we uh, we, we obviously bounce. Um, you can't make these things up. But um, yeah, that honestly is really important support. Why? Because it's a high volume node. It's a very important level of support. Okay. So how am I coming to these conclusions? I'm using my, my standard horizontals. I'm looking at the patterns that are going to be forming. Because I recognize if you're able to produce patterns on the chart, you also know what 99% of the market is going to be doing. So that's powerful. <laughs> it's so powerful when you when you really understand that. Um, and then what we're able to do is use our Fibonacci levels. That's also helping me decide this, looking at our extensions, our expansions, our local Elliott waves. You know, they're all coming together here with our volume, you know, the most important thing. And that, that's really what's giving us our confidence. Because at the end of the day, this is all based off a of technical analysis. It's not manipulation. It's not anything else. It's technical analysis. And we are using our technical analysis to come to conclusions of what we feel is the highest probabilities. That was obviously a short, a long, a short. And if you wanted to take a long here, I think it's acceptable. For me, it's just to take profit as we get our bounce underway. So what could we be looking for next? I think looking for next would either be a change in market structure locally here, where we change this to a higher high, higher low, and next a higher high. That would give us a local market structure change. Well, I think it's likely that we come up and we test the weekly again. Again, I would be very cautious of that short because this would be our third coming on fourth time of testing the level and it's going to get weaker the more times we test it, more likely to break up. So obviously currently as we're speaking, I, I'm in a short position. 
uh, short from absolutely all time high, short from here, I hit my take profit. And I'm happy to switch into a long. I'm more than happy to switch into a long. I trade the charts. I don't trade what I want. I don't trade off of biases. I trade off of the charts, what the chart is telling me. The chart does not lie. And the chart would be telling me to long if we're able to change the local market structure here and form, I guess we could be forming an ascending triangle. So keep your eye on that. Maybe we get an ascending triangle here. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, we start to move up from here. I'm, I'm happy to take a long. I definitely am. But currently, yeah, I'm just in a short because I don't have I don't have the chart telling me quite yet too long. It's a little bit too not worth the risk for me too long just yet. I prefer to wait for that step of confirmation on this one. OK, so in terms of support, 55,200, 55,400. Uh, below that, we have 54,400, which will be bringing you down to your Fibonacci, your high, your your point of control and also, you know, coming down towards your lows. So you have that 54, 400, then obviously you have to lower the range if we lose that. And obviously if we lose, if we lose the lows here around 53, $53,000, well, naturally you're going to be looking 50,000, you know, $30,000. But the thing is, we're not interested in such lower levels. Why? Because we're day trading. If you are short in here, well, guess what? This, this is definitely a take profit. This is definitely a take profit. So now, even if we do this and we fully reverse to the upside, you still make money. Why? Because you've got a Got a perfect entry, got a perfect take profit, and you know you're, you're protected now. You can move your stop loss to entry, for example, and you are 100% guaranteed money. And in trading, you want to be consistent. You want to last the long term, okay? And you do this by being patient on your entries, being very good on your take profits, and not getting greedy. You know, block the emotions, and 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 remove the greed and the wants and everything else. Trade the charts, and and hey, this is an absolute gold mine right now. I will share I will share one thing with you. If you weren't already impressed by me calling the head and shoulders pattern before it even formed, before anyone was aware of it, I was giving you that in yesterday's video. I was giving the resistance. I've literally given you the exact pattern and the exact resistance where we'll reject from in advance. If, you, that, if that wasn't already impressive, I want to share this with you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and th this, uh, this will be edited, by the way. I will get my editor to remove the names because, hey, get Chart Champions right now is hated. We are a hated community by by outsiders who dislike our content. We've got the death threats coming in, so I need to I need to hide the names. But as you can see here, we were putting in where the high would be. Okay, as you can see here, twelve forty one. You know the the low, which by the way we were calling for fifty four thousand eight hundred and twenty, fifty four thousand eight hundred and twenty. Um, Hey, this is this is our magic levels, and um, ladies and gentlemen, that was that was posted in the group 12, 12.40. You want to know where the low of the right shoulder was put in twelve forty five, and um, that was literally the exact low here to form the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder to bring us up to our short position. So we were not only calling the pattern, we we're also calling the low where the low of the right shoulder we put in, the high where we come up to our weekly region, and um, yeah, in my, in my opinion, the first take profit here. So we, we, we pretty much are able to call the exact lows and highs before they form. <laughs> what can I say? Um, so yeah, that, that that brings us on to here. Like, so then we obviously, it's just I really want to make sure people are understanding this. Our weekly region of resistance, our current backtest of our support, which is coming in at around 55,200, really important support really important resistance you have the next two major levels we test our resistance again it's likely we break through we keep if we know uh, otherwise we're, we're going to head down towards our lower levels of support okay we can start to just see this trick trickle down unless we get the local market structure change there's one thing that i want to end here with emphasizing i really want to emphasize this before i end and um yeah let, 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 let's go let's emphasize it so this is really really funny yeah um, and I mean this in a in a lighthearted way. And what I will say, if you're here for the TA, the TA's over. I'm here to have a little bit of fun now because this is what this is. You know, this is this is my channel. I can do it. So I'm here to have some fun with you all, especially if you're in the champions group. Because guess what happened yesterday? YouTube was all over the inverse head and shoulders pan. Um, next, apparently, they were waiting for some uh, magic EMA ribbons. And I'm telling you, telling you this, ladies and gentlemen, EMAs EMAs are like so irrelevant in trading rsi is so irrelevant in trading macd is so irrelevant if you see people using exponential moving average ribbons on these time frames you know rsi macd uh you know all these sort of things that people love to use uh stochastics etc i mean all i can say is that, 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 yeah I, i'm not going to say anything i'm just gonna <laughs> I'll, I'll let my trades i suppose talk for me on that regards but um hey all i'm saying is 
people were buying the breakouts. The absolute high here was while we were breaking above these EMA ribbons. And uh, all I'm saying is, uh, you know, everybody is going to be FOMO, FOMOing buying. And hey, I guess this is going to be a good short position. And we were adding these EMA ribbons, you know, when we're breaking above it. Hey, we broke above it. And um, they're going to be FOMO buying into our sell orders. And that that is literally exactly what happens. Uh, you, you, you can't make these sort of things up. You really can't make it up. Uh, you know, we were recognizing that head and shoulders pattern before it formed. And I, my exact words were, wait for everybody to start talking about this. Well, guess what? 14 hours later, everybody started talking about it. And then I was saying, well, now everybody's talking about it. This is going to be a good short. Well, what happened? It ended in a really good short. Anybody that bought the breakouts, they're all underwater. They're liquidated. They're, they're destroyed. Um, hey, and I'm, I'm not in this to laugh at people losing money. I'm, I'm telling you this because this is how the market works. If you don't like that, don't trade. You know, it's as simple as that. If you don't like, if you don't like to do this, if you don't like to learn the truth, just don't trade. Just huddle. Just do that if, you, if that's what you want, you know. Um, but yeah, I will end here with a few few money shots to show you exactly what we're doing here. Uh, so you can see, like, I mean, even since I've been speaking, people are absolutely killing it in the Champions Group. People are absolutely killing it. Uh, and this was my trades. Uh, exactly as predicted, swing failure pattern uh, onto that high. So that was obviously that swing failure pattern trade last night. I was also trading this on another. I was trading this on three accounts that short because I had such confidence in it. Uh, on the BTC pair, on the Tether pair. And obviously, I still had this one open from, um, ladies and gentlemen, the absolute high. Remember that one up at $62,000. <laughs> Let me boost my ego a little bit more. The absolute high of the move, $62,000. Obviously, I have that short from the absolute all time high. And as I said here to the contenders and champions, which, by the way, I even gave a live stream members update yeah, or yesterday emphasizing be patient for this weekly is coming. Be, be, be patient for that region because it is coming. That was the update that I gave to the members. Hey, next day we get it. As I'm saying here, we are absolutely killing it. We had the swing forward pattern onto the weekly region absolutely perfectly. This is why we remain patient for our setups, taking the highest probability trades. Take profit one hit on this short position and we are making bank absolutely once again. Uh, what can we say? Four days into the week and over 20 Bitcoin profit. Champions running the Bitcoin game right now. So what can I say, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I, I, I include Sunday because that's obviously the day that I took that all-time high short. So this is why. <laughs> oh, it feels good, ladies and gentlemen. I've, I've been controlling myself. Exit of the video now if you're a snowflake. Exit of the video now because what I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, is my ego is going to run wild. Why? Because I was I was, I have the best short position in the whole world. The best short position in the whole world, period. Nobody has a better short than that at $62,000, where I shorted that within 50 cent of the all time high on Bitcoin. Not only that one, that was a brilliant, that was a brilliant trade. You can't deny that. Not only that, I was calling the inverse head and shoulders before it even formed. I was shortened up here before before anyone knew that this was going to be a swing failure pattern. My, my short entries are above the level, not waiting for the swing failure pattern, but causing the swing failure pattern. So I've managed to absolutely, you know, I mean, yeah, <laughs> just look at the trades. Just look at those trades, literally. Um, and what can I say? People are always attacking me like, dang, you have such a big ego. I have such a big ego. And I can maintain this ego because I am absolutely crushing the charts. Let's be serious. I'm absolutely crushing these charts. And I recognize that when I when that stops, when I fall down, I will take the hate that comes to me. But people that are hating on me right now, I just I just have to laugh because nobody, nobody else is getting the entries that I do. Nobody else is calling the levels that I call. Nobody else is doing any of this any of this. Guess what? They're, they're, they're entering the highs. We're shorting these highs. They're, they're, they're shorting the lows. We're longing the lows. I mean, what can I say? Literally, the exact low was, was it given in the group that last night. And let me tell you this before I end. These people, they are coming into the group, joining Chart Champions. You know, they're literally joining the group, signing up for our membership, and they are learning our theories. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you this one thing before I end. Why would anybody want to learn from the apprentice when they can literally learn from the master themselves? Not that I'm trying to call myself the master of this, but the guy teaching it. Why would anybody want to? I just don't. Firstly, I don't really understand why would anyone join the apprentice? They're just a knockoff version of myself. But secondly, they can take my theories. They can take my strategies. They can take my tools, but they cannot take my brain. That's something that they can't get. Am I reading of this market? 
Well, this has been happening for years now. This is nothing new to anybody that's been a long-term subscriber. But we've been doing this for years. And how am I able to do this? It's my brain. I'm able to recognize these patterns. People learning from me aren't, are not going to have that skill because this, this takes experience. This is not something you can learn. I'm able to recognize the patterns. I have a, I have a heavy bankroll. <laughs> not everybody's going to have this as well. But, um, you know, this is the thing. They can come in. They can learn from us. They can give out our information. But at the end of the day, they cannot take my brain. And that's what that's that, that that's the power. It's a game of chess. Your opponents can know the moves that you're going to take. But how are they going to know which ones you want to take? Which 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 little pawn you want to move? Which bishop you want to move? Where are you going to move it? That is something they can never know. They can know the steps for the quickest check, mate. But they never know the defense that can be put up. And this is all about 5D, 5D chess. It's all about thinking about what your opponents think you know. And it's about knowing what you have to read your opponent's move before they even know what they're going to do. So I'm able to read this market in such a way that I know what other people are going to be doing before they even know themselves what they're going to be doing. And that was highlighted last night, literally, by showing you the symmetrical triangle, the inverse head and shoulders. They, they had no idea that that was being formed up here. But we're able to recognize that's what's going to be formed. That's what they're going to be trading for. And we're able to recognize these pivots and trade them exactly as predicted. Yes, my ego can explode. I get all the comments all the time. Daniel, your ego is too big. I'm unsubscribing. But guess what? People say they're un going to unsubscribe, but they're still watching and commenting my videos two weeks later. Why? Because they know that this is the best technical analysis you're going to see on YouTube. No one else is giving the levels like I give. No one else is doing the trades like I do. And hey, my ego is fully exploded. <laughs> uh, dislike the video if you want to dislike it. If you are a champion, a contender, you can smash up the likes because hey, I really do believe we could, you know, there was serious bank to be made last night. Absolutely serious bank to be made off of those trades. Uh, hope that you're enjoying it. Obviously, this is this is a total, uh, total bragging to the end of the video. Hey, I can do what I want. Um, I will bring it back to more professional content uh, af after this. I just wanted to get this out of my system. I wanted to get this out of my system, end with the video like this. Um, and hey, we'll forget about it on the next one. And we'll go back to our but go back to our ways. Uh, but what can I say, ladies and gentlemen? You see the people, just remind them. Just, 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 just remind them who is doing these trades like this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much. Hope that you've enjoyed the video and uh, smash the likes. If you want to learn, if you want to live stream, I suppose if we get to, I don't know, over a thousand likes, I will do a live stream for you uh, tomorrow tomorrow if it gets over a thousand um for everybody else i hope that you've really enjoyed and uh why you need to remember the levels that i give you because they are very important <laughs> thank you ever so much everybody have a brilliant day and goodbye cheers